So in this video we are going to give quite a lot of detail about how to train a ResNet network for the problem of image classification. We basically collected data using our drones in Zhao Mountain here in Yamagata Prefecture and we collected data from many sites and here you have an awesome mosaic of one of those sites. Then the experts in the forestry department in the Faculty of Agriculture of Yamagata University annotated by hand the position of each of the six species of subalpine bushes visible in that site. That site um, is a very interesting site because it was attacked by several insect infestations and because of that all the um, the trees that, that used to to be there, the fir trees that used to, to live there, died. And the site became, uh, let's say, an opportunity for some species that usually live a little bit higher up the mountain, these subalpine bushes, and now we are studying what happens with them. On the one hand, the fir trees would like to regrow here and there are some saplings that are reappearing. On the other, these uh, subalpine bushes tend to live higher up the mountain, but because the temperature seems to be getting a little bit higher, maybe because of climate change, these guys, these subalpine bushes are also coming down the mountain and growing here. So monitoring how many of them there are and exactly where they are uh, is a very important issue in terms of the health of the forest and also as an indicator of climate change. So we set out to do that. Basically, thanks to the annotation work of all of these forestry experts, we ended up with lots of um, points marking where all of these patches, corresponding each of them to one subalpine bush of one of the six possible species, Minikai, Dekiraboku, Inutsuge, Sakura, and Nakamado, were located. And in this notebook, in this explanation, we will show you how to use a notebook that takes this data, the patches, small images correspond each to one of these bushes and the species the bush belongs to, we will see how to take this information and train a deep learning classifier, ResNet50 classifier, to solve the image of image, the problem of image classification for these bushes. Okay. Additionally, if you look at the data, you will see that we had two uh, data collection missions, one in June and one in uh, October. So the one in June, uh, many, many of the uh, bushes looked very similar because the evergreen bushes and the deciduous bushes all were more or less green and they had differences in color but they were not super clear and then in August the deciduous bushes had changed color so the differences were much easier to spot so uh, if you look at the data you will see that it also has this very very interesting characteristic. So let's go to the notebook. Uh, it's these training deep learning network models in deep learning models in PyTorch and you can uh, have a look at it. I'm going to open it and I'm going to basically go over it very carefully in some detail just to give a couple of um, bullet points of the things that we are going to do. I already have a, let's say, overview notebook where I explain these things into a little bit more detail, but I'm going to just mention them here. We are going to first download the data from the internet so you can have it in your computer. If you run this notebook in your computer, you can download it from file, download, and download notebook. And if not, you can always access it in this uh, call-up machine and download it from there. We are going to first download the data, then 
store it in a PyTorch dataset. And if you want to know a lot about how this is made, you should uh, go to this handling custom data in PyTorch notebook and video lesson where that's explained quite a lot. We are just going to mention what that means. Then we are going to define a ResNet model and you can read all about ResNet here in this publicly available paper in archive. And you can also find quite a lot of information on what ResNet is and how it works for us. It will be basically just a very good network for solving the problem of image classification. Okay, so we'll have the data, we'll have our network, and then we will want to feed the network to our data. We already have one um, notebook about how to feed models to data, and we will be following the same structure that we followed there. So make predictions, compute loss, and use the loss and the gradients computed when the gradients of the loss function are computed to generate the next step of the parameters of the model and iteratively iteratively change the parameters of the model so it feeds better and better our data and it ends up hopefully solving the problem. We will see how to define this training function. We will speak about the difference between training and validation and then we will train the model and see how what results we get.